to this episode of Indelible Manks. My name is Travis, and this is my friend Gizmo. Today, we're going to be looking at this paint set. Is it right for you, or should you skip out on it? The colors today we have are Death Guard Green, Abaddon Black, Armageddon Dust, Rakarth Flesh, Balthazar Gold, Ceramite White, Macrag Blue, Mephistian Red, Averland Sunset, Argrax Earthshade, Morfang Brown, Wed Belcher, and Bugman's Glow. Now I think the box on the back is a little silly because they don't give you a mini to actually use these instructions on, but I suppose you'd buy a mini and buy this box and take it all home and go have yourself a fun time. So let's break it down. What do you actually get in this box and why is it worth the money? Well first, you get the base colors. You get seven of these. They go on after you put the primer down. They're beautiful and vibrant on their own, but they really shine when you start mixing in and making a variety of shades and colors to pop out on. Balthazar Gold and Lead Belcher are your metallic paints in this set. They're beautiful. The gold isn't rich and shiny like you see in a lot of other sets. It's a deep red or even brown rustic look, which goes really well on Nurgle and 40K stuff. Lead Belcher is just really dull, metallic silver. It's great. It's way different than the Mithril silver we got in the previous set, so mixing the two gives you a lot of variety and detail. My favorite item in the box has to be the Agrax Earthshade. This stuff is gold. Unlike all the other base or texture paints in the box, this will go on everything. It's just a nun oil, it's just a deep wash. You put it on after you've done all the basic work and it brings out the detail of the mini. This stuff is gold. Buy it, store it, keep it forever. Don't even give it to your firstborn. Take it to the grave. Armageddon Dust is your texture paint in this set. It comes in handy when you need to add detail to say some scuffy boots or a monster that got extra dirty. Finally, I think there are two paints here that stand out amongst any of the others. Abaddon Black and Ceramite White. Respectively, they are too dark and too light to each other to put on any mini by themselves. Unlike the base paints, I think these need to be especially mixed into something. The nippers are nothing special, but they do get the job done. I personally like using them to cut the first sprue off anything, and then I'll go back in with my hobby knife or god hands to clean up the excess. The paintbrush the set came with was pretty good. I enjoyed using it until I finally lost it, but that's more of a me problem than a you. I'm sure you'd get a lot more use out of it. Now I've heard some complaints that the 12 milliliter bottles are a little on the small size. I don't think so. These will last you plenty of time, especially if you're just painting minis. If you were a canvas painter or a traditional person, sure, but that's not what we're doing here. I love these colors. I think they're a step up and beyond what I had last time. Army Painter's good. Citadel is great. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope this was helpful for you and you learned something useful. Have a great day and build on my dudes. Three, two, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Oh.